Hello again everyone, welcome to my final unboxing of 2022. I cannot believe that this year is almost over already. It just seems like two minutes ago that we were saying Happy New Year from <laughs> last year, but here we are. Um, so this is a box I was <laughs> almost, <laughs> I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to bring you. Um, there have been some issues with delivery. Um, here in the UK, if, if you're in the UK, you may know that there have been a lot of um, postal strikes going on currently um, and also the delivery company that uh, deliver this box to me are, are not great, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, they've actually had this box in their possession since the end of November um, and it was just delivered today and just for context I am filming this video on the 21st of December. Um, so they've had it for almost a month and I've only just received it but the important thing is that I have received it and also FabFitFun customer service were amazing about it as well. Um, so, you know, offering out, offering to send me a new box out, offering to refund me, etc. They couldn't have been more helpful in a situation that was pretty much out of their control, to be fair. So I think I've just given away which box this is. <laughs> but just in case you missed it, it is FabFitFun and it's their winter box. So here it is, finally. Very, very happy to see it may or may not have given it a cuddle when I took it in. Uh, I will not confirm that. Um, so for those of you who aren't familiar with FabFitFun, this is a box that actually hails all the way from sunny California. Well, I'm saying sunny, I haven't actually been, but it always looks very sunny in pictures I've seen. Um, and they offer full-size premium products in all different areas, so beauty, fitness, wellness, home, lifestyle, etc. So it's a seasonal box, so there's four boxes per year, obviously spring, summer, autumn, or as they call it, fall, and winter. This is the winter box and each season you get to choose the items in your box. Depending on the subscription level that you have, depends how many of the items you get to choose. So I subscribe on a seasonal basis, which means I pay every season, um, which means I get to make four selections for my box. However, select members who pay annually, so they pay one payment and they get all four boxes within that payment. Um, you get to pick all of your box, so that's lovely. They changed that up recently. It used to be um, that it was three items for seasonal and five items for select, and then FabFitFun would choose the rest. Um, but they changed that up very recently um, to make it so that select members could pick all of their box. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it because I am very excited that it's finally here. Um, I'm very excited to actually have the things that I've picked um, and also the add-on that I chose as well. Now, with regards to add-ons, they are um, items that you can add to your box for an additional price. Um, and they usually open a couple of days before customization. Um, so there's always loads to choose from as well. I really have to kind of <laughs> stop myself from adding too many things to, to my basket, but I was actually really good this time. I only added one thing. Um, so I'm just gonna remove all of this kind of excess packaging so that I can get to the items easier. It also comes with a magazine every uh, every season, I nearly said month then, every season as well. And there's usually just bits of information in there about the items inside and um, things to do with skincare and horoscopes, always good. <laughs> um, workout and fitness, um, again, makeup, cooking, I might try, I tried a couple of the recipes from, I think it was last time's box. They were amazing. Um, yeah, so fashion, home, yeah, there's lots, usually lots to read. It's always a good read. I do like to have a, a look through it. Um, and yeah, some offers and things at the end. So there's always things to read in there. I'll just pop this to the side there. So what I will do is I'll show you my add-on first and then I will show you the items um, that I picked and then the items that FabFitFun picked at the end, just to make it a little bit easier to follow. So the first thing I'll show you then is the add-on that I chose. As I say, I managed to <laughs> control myself and only pick one thing um, and it is this I think it's Cuccio, but please forgive me on pronunciation, Cuccio Somatology and it's their Yoga Muscle Balm. So this is a post-practice and fitness restoring ritual. Um, so this is basically, it's a balm that you help 
uh, you apply after working out to help reinvigor reinvigorate and energize your muscles. Um, so it's it goes on cold by the sounds of it as well, which sounds really nice. Although at this time of year, when it's already chilly, uh, may not be a bit the best idea. Um, so cutiosomatology is the study of the total body experience that incorporates the use of innovative ingredients that synergize the mind, body and soul. Mastitha is a rare natural ingredient honoured for centuries for its amazing properties. The benefits of this muscle balm are that they help to revitalise and energise the muscles right after rigorous activity and exercise. It's made with essential oils, has a soothing and cooling sensation and contains no artificial fragrance or parabens. So I've had one of their, I think I've had um, a shower gel from them before and it had Epsom salts in it and I really, really liked it. I think it was from Fabric Fun actually. I think it may have been from my first ever box from them uh, and I really liked it. So when I saw this and the fact that I do a lot of training, a lot of exercise, um, definitely <laughs> deal with DOMS on a regular basis. Um, so this definitely appealed to me. And I'm looking forward to trying it out and hope I like it as much as I liked the, the shower gel. Um, so that was my add-on item. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the items that I picked for my box. Uh, very excited because I've picked some items that I'm going to be using for um, a holiday that I have next year. And also some items that uh, are just kind of, I guess, everyday essentials that I maybe didn't know I needed until I picked them. <laughs> so I'm going to show you first of all one of the items that I'm going to be using for my upcoming holiday. I say upcoming, it's not till October next year, but I can still, I can still plan for it. So I'm going to take it out of the bag here. So this is by Nude Sticks and it is a hanging cosmetics case. So I'm just going to try and get it opened up. And here we go. So you obviously can pop all of your toiletries and things in there. Um, there's little zip compartments, a little makeup bag that's removable, um, and also a mesh, um, mesh hole in there. There's also some slots for brushes and things like that in there. So I just thought that would be really, really useful to take with me um, and pop in my suitcase with all my um, essentials, all my toiletries, <laughs> if I manage to narrow it down. It's usually very difficult for me. Um, but I just, yeah, I just thought that, that would be a really helpful tool um, item to take with me and pop in my suitcase. And also a good space saver as well, because I mean, I'm sure I am not the only one who struggles to shut the lid of the suitcase after you've put everything in there. Um, so I'm hoping that this will kind of help me to save on some space. And there is a hook there to hang it up as well. So that was my first item. I don't have the retail price of any of these items, unfortunately. Um, probably should have written those down before I started filming, but I was just so excited to see it that I wanted to show you guys too. Um, so the, the retail prices will be in the written review that I do. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be sharing it all on my socials as usual. Um, but that is my first item. And I've just dropped the uh, silica gel packet that comes inside. That's just gone on the floor, but that's fine. I'm just going to pop it back inside the bag just for now to keep it protected. So I also chose, I'm just going to move those out of the way. I'll put them in the bin in a second. Um, I also chose an item which is going to go in my home gym. Um, so let's see if I can open this packet so I can show you a little bit easier. But it's from the brand, it, some people say Fila, some people say Fila. Um, I don't really think it matters particularly, um, but it is a back stretcher. So it looks like quite the contraption <laughs> and there's something that's just fallen on the floor there and um, so that looks like it's a strap for it yeah and the instructions for yeah the instructions for putting it together but basically it looks like this and you pop it onto the floor there's a few different height adjustments that you can have it at depending on obviously how deep a stretch you want in your back um, and then you just lay on it essentially so you just kind of lay back and you um stretch you can give your back a good stretch but it also has if i can just pick it up like these little 
nobbles on them. <laughs> Can you see these little spikes? Which add, I guess, maybe a, like an acupressure type feel to it. Um, so I'm not going to attempt to put this together on camera because that would be ridiculous. Uh, but I think that bit goes in there. Um, and then this is the bit that you can kind of pop it on depending on what level of resistance you want because there are some different slats in there. And yeah, so I'm very excited about this. I work from home. Uh, so a lot of the time for me, I spend a lot of time during the day sitting down. And even though I have an ergonomic chair that my work very, very kindly um, sorted out for me, um, it's still, I still get a lot of backache. Um, and so I, you know, I do try and do a lot of yoga. I try and stretch as much as possible, but I feel like this sort of thing is definitely going to help me get a little bit more of a deeper stretch um, than I could potentially do myself. Um, but yeah, that's just a picture of the lady using it just to show you what, um, what it looks like. And there's even <laughs> someone sitting in a chair. Um, so you can maybe, I could maybe put it on my chair actually. Yeah, I might put it on my work chair actually and give that a try and see how see how I get on with it. Um, but that was an absolute no brainer for me to be honest um, when it came to, to selecting that. Um, yeah, it's it's showing you how to how to secure it to a chair and things as well. So I'll have a proper look at all of the instructions. There's also a bit of foam pad in there as well, which I think probably goes over the top of there um but yeah if i attempted to put it together on camera we would be here all day um, and it would probably well not be very exciting or amusing for any of us <laughs> so i will leave it at that for now but that was my second pick I'll pop it back in the bag again Just protect it and then i also chose here it is uh, this is by the brand Short Stories, and this is a battery operated food measuring scales. Now, I do a lot of cooking. I, I do re really enjoy cooking. And so um, sometimes though, I guess the amounts that I need to be using. And that's not always great because I'm not great at guessing. So I usually end up with either too much or too little. Um, so I'm just trying to get it out of the box out of the box to show you so it comes very very well packaged which is good to see um so let's take it out of the bag as well and then there's tissue around here so here they are i just think they look really really nice um just kind of a nice bronzy color and of course they um have different modes in there for it i'm just having a look at the uh there's an instruction manual as well. Um, so I will definitely take a look at that before I use it. Does it come with a battery in it? I'm just seeing, I'm not sure if it does come with a battery or not. Um, there's a tab in there that says remove before use. So I'm gonna assume there is already a battery in there, which is brilliant if it is. Um, so I'll definitely be using that. I'm just gonna pick the instructions up and let's see, yeah. So it tells you about, um, how to select what sort of thing you are weighing. Um, so there's a weighing mode. Um, there's also a volume indication mode, which sounds far too technical for me. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just tells you a little bit about how to um, kind of clean it and keep it keep it in good condition. Um, so yeah, and it's nice and compact as well. So it'll store away nice and easily without taking up too much room in my kitchen. Um, this is the kitchen I'm in now. Um, so there's not much more to it than what you can see. Um, there's just a little bit off to this side, which is where my sink and everything is. And then in front of me, there's uh, my my oven uh, and my, my cooker top, my hobs or my stove top. And then there's just the fridge kind of off to that side as well. Um, so it's not a lot of room. But equally, I don't want to have to skimp on equipment and, and, and cooking and kitchen equipment because I feel like, particularly because I enjoy cooking so much, I want I want the best. You know, I want I want the things that are going to help me um, to make lots and lots of tasty food. So I'm hoping that um, these scales will do just that for me. Um, and I will, of course, as with all of the other items, post the retail price and things on the review. I'm just popping it back again into its packaging to keep it protected until I can take pictures and all of that. 
There we go, lovely. So that was my third pick, my final pick. And this was something that I wasn't too sure about, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. Um, I've seen these everywhere, um, and so I'm really intrigued by them. And it's from a brand called Sonage, I think, and these are the Baby Frios Mini Icy Globes. Um, so they look like quite <laughs> interesting contraptions, um, but essentially what they do is you run them over your face and they help to stimulate blood circulation and depuff the face and the eye area. So I'm just going to open this out again and get them out. So they come in this little box here. And, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> um, so I'll just get them out. They also have liquid in them and little bits of glitter. I'm not sure if that comes up on the camera, but yeah, you essentially just kind of rub them across your face and they uh, they are designed to help to stimulate and depuff. Now, I don't tend to kind of suffer from puffiness as such. However, sometimes my under eyes can certainly be a little bit puffy if I've maybe not slept that great or um, if I'm again dealing with hay fever um, so I'm very much looking forward to trying them out but also I just like a good pamper sometimes I mean who doesn't and I feel like these would be great to kind of do with if you were doing like an at-home facial for yourself um, kind of a similar to I guess like a jade roller and like the, the gua sha tools and things that you can get and um, so again looking forward to incorporating these in and seeing what sort of benefits I get nope they don't want to go back in there we go okay so that was my final pick so on to the items that FabFitFun chose for me so there's two of them I believe yep and the first one is from Chic and Tonic and it's a snowflake mug so let's try and get into this I'm never great at doing this I will be honest there we go Oh, that looks bigger than I thought it was going to be. So. Oh, eventually. There we go. So that's quite a big mug. If I kind of hold it up to my face, <laughs> that's quite a big mug. And it's obviously got a, a lovely snowflake pattern on it, which is very apt for this time of year. It's quite a large size. Um, I think that's bigger than most of the other mugs that I use. Um, but definitely, I'm not a big, I will be honest, I'm not a big lover of hot drinks. I do like a good tea. Um, and I do like a good hot chocolate. Certainly don't drink coffee. Um, however, when I do have a cup of tea or hot chocolate, I definitely like to have it in a big old mug. Um, so we'll definitely get use out of this for sure. And even that sort of thing is always a nice little present for people as well. So even if I wasn't going to personally use it, that would be such a cute little gift to give someone, particularly this time of year, very apt with the print and everything. But I'm I'm going to be keeping it so that is the first pick that fabfit funded oh we have a leaning tower of, of products here now on my on my kitchen side it could it could get uh, interesting there we go i think we i think we're secure um so the final item and i'm again <laughs> fighting with packaging um is another item that is very much apt for the time of year Here we are. So who is this by? What's the brand? Oh, um, Lemon by the looks of it. Um, and this is a cute little bobble hat. Feels really, really soft. And I love the colour as well. It's such a nice colour. Um, I'm just seeing here. If, yeah, it's definitely Lemon. That's the name of the brand. Um, so these show a com comfortably so it's warm and comfortable basically <laughs> um so it looks like they maybe are french um but it's a one size so of course it's one of those that kind of suits everyone i am going to try this on so let's pop it on i love cozy hats like this i just think they're so cute um i think i picked one actually in one of my 
former, it might have been the last one. I definitely picked, it was a Michael Kors hat. Um, in one of the other FabFit fun boxes, uh, and I love that one. I I wear it all the time, um, so I might have to now circulate it with this one and kind of alternate. Um, but that's so soft and cute and just adorable and perfect for this time of year again. So they've done a really really good job in their picks for me. To be fair, they usually do. I've very rarely been disappointed by what they've picked for me, and the same applies here. Because even though, as I've mentioned, I don't drink a lot of hot drinks, which means that that mug isn't necessarily something that I will use all of the time because it's such a nice big size. And when I'm sitting at my desk, sometimes I do want, you know, a nice cup of tea or hot chocolate. I will definitely be reaching for that, even in June when it's nice and warm. <laughs> um, so in terms of the prices and things, so it, it comes to around sort of 50 to 60 pounds. It just depends, obviously, because the prices are in dollars. It does depend on the exchange rates um, and, and things like that as well, which I know fluctuates pretty much daily. Um, so it, it varies in terms of how much it is, but it's $49.99 um, per season. Or if you want to pay annually, you pay $179.99 and that's for four boxes. Um, so what I will do is when I do the written review, I will use the most up-to-date exchange rate to let you know what that comes to in pounds. Unfortunately, I'm not great with numbers, so I'm not able to work that out off the top of my head for you right now. Um, but I will pop it into the written review that I do. Um, in terms of postage as well to the UK, um, it's a further $10 for postage and you do also pay um, VAT as well. Um, so. I think it's around sort of 52 pounds a month that I pay for it, which when you consider the quality of the items, everything is always full size as well. There's never any samples or anything like that. Um, and there's such a variety of things to choose from. There's items in this box that I've received that you would never see in any other boxes. Um, and I'm always really excited to see it. So when, <laughs> when there was all this trouble with it kind of being delayed with the courier that was bringing it, I was just so disappointed. I was just ho so hoping it was going to arrive in time for Christmas and it did. Um, so very, very happy about that. I'm very happy with my picks. Once again, I don't think there's an item in here that I won't get use out of, which is always a bonus. Um, so I'll just very, very quickly recap with everything. So we had this gorgeous little pom-pom hat by Lemon, which I'm probably going to be wearing as soon as I take pictures of it, to be fair. We had the snowflake mug by Chic and Tonic. Got to get everything back in now. This is going to be a mission. There was the um, Sonage Mini Icy Facial Globes. The Short Stories uh, Wayne Scale, Digital Scale. <clears throat> the Feeler or Filer Back Stretcher, which is going straight in my home gym. And the Nude Sticks Hanging Cosmetics Case. And then there was also my add-on, which was the Yoga Muscle Balm by Cuccio Somatology. So that's everything. Um, always a pleasure to unbox FabFitFun and to uh, receive some new products. One of the things that I love as well is that because they're based in the US, um, and I'm obviously, you can probably tell I'm not, <laughs> I'm from the UK, a lot of the products that they include in their box are things that are not necessarily all that easy to source over here as well. So I get to try out brands that maybe people, most people here don't get to. And I really, really like that. A lot of the products that I've had as well are absolute staples in my day-to-day -day life now. Um, I have so many of their <laughs> kitchen and homeware items in the cabinet behind me. Um, I also have some in my bedroom. I just, yeah, I, I just love discovering those products that I wouldn't maybe ordinarily buy necessarily. So if I was in a shop, maybe these items I maybe wouldn't buy. However, that's the beauty of this sort of thing. You get to discover things like that. And also again, I get to discover brands that aren't easy to come by uh, over here in the UK. 
So as always, I will be doing a written review uh, that will be up hopefully uh, sometime between Christmas and New Year. Obviously, it's quite a busy time, so I'm hoping to get that out for you. I do have a little bit of time um, off work, so should be able to get it out um, and share it with you all. Um, and then that will be shared across all of my socials as always, as well as pictures of each of the items and what I think of them. Um, so yeah, let me know what you picked. If you are a subscriber to FabFitFun, what's your favourite item? Uh, what are you most looking forward to? What are your predictions for spring? What sort of things do you think are going to be in there? I always love having a bit of a guess and trying to figure out what sort of things might be in there. Um, and again, uh, if I don't speak to you all before, which I probably won't, I don't think I'll be doing another unboxing now before January. Um, so have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in 2023. Bye.